Now today, I'm gonna to be making Hasselback potatoes. Now, if you've never had those before, give these a go, because they're really simple and they taste absolutely scrummy. Now, Hasselback potatoes are like a Swedish version of a baked potato. So go and make these and you know you can serve it up with your steak or as part of your roast dinner or whatever you fancy. They're just absolutely beautiful. So for making these Hasselback potatoes, just gonna quickly go through the ingredients I'm gonna use. Now, first of all, got me potatoes there. Now, obviously you can do two potatoes, four, six, whatever you want. I've got six, roughly about the same size potatoes. One there's a little bit bigger, so it might need a little bit more cooking that one. Now, what you wanna do with your potatoes is wash them under cold water. Try and make sure there's no mud or anything like that. If you need to give them a gentle scrubbing, you know, because we're gonna leave the skin on. So try and get them nice and clean. Now, the potatoes I've chosen to use are the ones that I would use for making jacket potatoes. So these are baking potatoes. Now, you could use Mary's Pipers, you know, whatever ones that you would use for roasting up, but baking potatoes is what I'm gonna use. Now, we've also got some olive oil. Now, I'm gonna use that just to brush on the outside, you know, rub it on the outside, because we wanna get the skin nice and crispy. I've got about half a block of butter. You want a fair amount of butter, really. You know, it's gonna be spread over all these potatoes. Just gonna melt that in a pan, and I'm gonna add some herbs. Now, you could use fresh herbs. Typically, rosemary is one of the main ones, and you can use a little bit of thyme. I'm gonna use this one, Herbs de Provence. That's got a really nice mixture and it's got rosemary and thyme in there. So it's gonna make these, you know, flavored up lovely. I've also got some garlic granules that I'm gonna use. You could use a bit of fresh garlic, you know, a couple of cloves, two or three cloves of garlic, and that all goes in with the butter. So you get a nice flavor going into that butter. I've also got some salt, because you do need to season the potato. A little bit on the outside, but also when we cut these little slits, and the butter's gone in there, you wanna put a bit of salt in there as well because the potatoes really do need the salt to bring the flavor out. And really that's all the ingredients, nice and simple. Now what I'm gonna do is get the potatoes and get those prepared first. Now with the potatoes, I'm just gonna show you one and then obviously carry on with the rest of them. So what I'm gonna do to start with is, with the potatoes, what you wanna do is just get a knife and basically just cut like a flat along the bottom like that, because then your potato doesn't wobble around. So, lovely. Now, next of all, I'm going to use a couple of wooden spoons in there. Now, the reason I'm using that is because what we need to do is to cut down, but you don't want to cut right down to the bottom of the potato, otherwise you're going to cut it in half or quarters or whatever. So, what I'm going to do is just cut them, I would say about two thirds of the way through, maybe three quarters at the most. So, just going to go down like this until you get to the wooden spoons. So it's good to add the wooden spoons because it just means that you know you're not gonna chop them all the way through. Now try and cut them, I would say two or three mil, so about an eighth of an inch, because then they're gonna look really beautiful when you present them. So I'm just gonna carry on and do that all the way across the potato. So there you go, I've done that all the way across, beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do is do that with the other five potatoes. So I've finished doing all the potatoes. It takes a little while, but you know, it'll be worth it in the end because they're going to look so nice and presentable. Now, just wiping the potatoes at the bottom. I've done most of these already, but I don't want them, you know, I want them to be nice and dry. So they're all done and they are going to look beautiful when this is all sort of slightly fanned out. Now, what I'm going to do is get a baking tin with a little bit of tin foil and we're going to rub some olive oil all over the top of each of those. Now I've got them all laid out and I actually put the skins in there as well. I might as well put a bit of olive oil in there and uh, cook those up and when they're done, pull those out. Now, with the olive oil, I'm just gonna brush some of that to start with all over. So I'll do that with all of them and then I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in my hands and then I'm gonna rub the salt into the olive oil and just make sure there's olive oil all the way over the potatoes or everywhere. So again, I'm just gonna carry on doing that. That's it. That's nicely covered. I also did these skins as well. So let's grab some salt and start with, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit over the top like that. Lovely. 
And then really what you want to do is grab the potatoes and just rub them all over. So give it a good rubbing, get it nicely in there, lovely. So again, I'll just rub that in with all the rest. So now I've got the potatoes all prepared, ready to go in the oven. Now I'm gonna switch my oven on, bring that up to temperature, and then I'm gonna place them in the oven initially for about 20 minutes. And while they're cooking, I'm gonna go over to the hob and we're gonna get on with that buttery mixture. So switch your oven on, bring it up to temperature, and then place those in. Just place those in the oven like that. Beautiful. Just shut those up. And I'd say, initially, give them about 20 minutes. Now, temperature-wise, I've got my oven set to 220 degrees Celsius, which is 425 degrees Fahrenheit, Gas Mark 7. So whilst we're you know, waiting for those to cook for about 20 minutes initially, I'm gonna go over to the hob and we're gonna start making up that buttery mixture. So I've come over to the hob and I'm just gonna put me butter in there and switch the heat on. Now you don't need the heat high at all, fairly low I would say, so put it nice and low. There you go, the butter's just about melted, so I'm gonna put my herbs in there. As I say, you could use fresh herbs if you like, but I'm using these herbs of the Provence, probably just over a teaspoon. Now in the herbs of the Provence, the two main ingredients are rosemary and thyme. And then obviously I'm gonna put some garlic granules in there. I mean, do that to taste. You know, if you're not so keen on the garlic, use less, but I'm gonna give it a good little flavor there. Let's uh, give that a quick mix around. Lovely. And I'm just gonna put a little pinch of salt in there as well. So we get some of the potato inside with that salty mixture. And what I would say is probably just let that gently cook, a low heat, probably for about five minutes, just until the butters, you know, got infused with that herby mixture. So now we've made up the buttery mixture, these potatoes have had the first 20 minutes. So just gonna pull those out like that. And just gonna grab that mixture. And really what you wanna do is just brush it over the top initially. Later on we're gonna open up those slits a little bit to get a bit more inside. But brush it on fairly liberally. Make sure you're getting some of those herbs as well and a bit of garlic. So I'll just carry on and do all those. That's it. I've given those a good bit of that mixture. So I'm going to pop those back in. Now what I would say is really about every 15 minutes you want to do the same again. So Probably gonna give these about another 45 minutes, maybe a little bit more, until they're looking absolutely delicious. Now, those little skins probably won't take as long, so I'll probably pull those out a little bit earlier, so if you fancy a little snack, you can get tucked into those. So again, I'll set the timer every 15 minutes, come back, carry on doing that. Now, just to show you, I've got a little potato skin snacks there, so let's just try one of those. Mmm. Nice and crispy, delicious flavour. If those potatoes are going to taste anything like these potato skins, absolutely beautiful. Now with the potatoes, mine have had about half an hour plus that initial 20 minutes. Now what I am going to do for this last time is just slightly open up some of these slits. So just going to do that with all of those, and then we're gonna put that, you know, a bit more of that buttery mixture on. So just go along, slightly open them up, really wanna get that mixture in there. So again, I'll carry on doing that with all of these. That's it. Done all those. So again, let's just put a bit more of that mixture on. So it really gets inside, and that's gonna flavor it up beautifully. There you go, just use that the last bit. So pop those back in the oven, give them about another 15 minutes or so, so that would have been about an hour, just over an hour, until really you think they're done, nice and crispy looking good. So my potatoes have had in total about one hour, just over one hour, so I'm going to pull them out, they're looking absolutely gorgeous. 
So it's going to be hot, so careful. So I've just taken them out of the oven, and what I'm going to do is pick one of those, and I'm going to place it on a plate, and we're going to try it. So I'm just going to try a little bit of this. Let's just get this bit off the end here. Oh, that's going to be a good bit. Let me try that. Mm -mm. Mm. Hot, but mm. really tasty. The skin's nice and crispy. Lovely. And obviously, you know, when they've got it with their steak or whatever they're going to eat it with, they can just cut a slice off and it's soft potato in the middle. Absolutely beautiful. Go and make these because they really are nice and simple and they taste absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching my videos, as always. And don't forget the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel because I try and put out as many videos as I can. And I've, I've got lots of videos to choose from, hopefully something for everyone. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. The original Naked Chef. Mm.